When you UV unwrap, as many of you have already done, uh, when you're making walls or whatever. Let me just create a, I'm gonna create a cube, right? And then you uh, let's bring it up here like this, and then you scale it, right? So scale X, scale Y, and then scale Z to make a little flatter. And and so now I've I've got a cube, which is essentially pretty close to the, about the same as the one that's right next to it there. Okay. Um, uh, I'll go in, so I'm going to go into edit mode, and I'm going to mark my seams as if I am UV unwrapping. Well, not as if I am, because I am. I'm going to UV unwrap it, okay? So I take and I do all four corners of the cube, just like I'm supposed to. Then I'll do the top, and then I'll do two of the sides, which will work really well. <coughs> and then I go Control e and I mark my seams. And let's go into UV unwrap here. Okay, there it is. Select all, U to unwrap, boom. And I get my cr the cross shape, which is, you know, the standard for a cube. Now, here's what's always frustrating. <clears throat> what's always frustrating is that the sides are not actually set up to be proportionate to their size in the scale. So, for instance, these sides here they're a lot smaller. And so what I've always done before is I've just grabbed, you know, highlighted these, hit G, grabbed them, and set them up. But we don't have to do that. Now, let me show you why this is so important. So uh, if I go back into default, let's go back to my world. Okay, environmental lighting is on. I'm going to create a new material here for this object. <clears throat> you know, my texture, create a new texture. Uh, it's already set to image or movie. We're going to open up this brick texture that I have. And then we're going to go back to uh, UV editing. Tab in, select all, and then we'll select the texture here, like that. And then I'm just going to say select all, and I'll scale it up so that it takes about the, you know, about the whole size. This is, this will still work to, to, uh, to kind of demonstrate what I wanted to demonstrate. And so the reason why this is so important is if I click on rendered, you can see that what's happened here, especially on this one, uh-oh, <laughs> OBS does not like my graphics card. Anyway, so in render mode, you can kind of see this looks normal, but then it's packing literally the entire you know, section of the, um, the texture into a short little side, right? And I think this has probably happened to everybody here as you've been trying to um, UV unwrap. So let's take our cube over here, which is basically a duplicate, and I will do exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna take this, take that, spin around here, do that, and it's going to be exactly the same seams. So mark the seam, select all, and UV unwrap. Now, it gives you the error up here in case you've never seen it. It says object has non-uniform scale. And so if I go back to my UV editing and I select all, there it is in the cross and nothing is actually proportional to what I did when I scaled it. So here's what we're going to do. Tab out of edit mode. So make sure you're in object mode. Select the object that you've scaled and you hit control A, which is an apply menu and you are going to apply rotation and scale. Now, you don't have to apply rotation as well unless you've actually rotated the object in, uh, in the object mode as well, in which case you probably want to do both. So there's rotation and scale. Now, if I go back into UV editing, tab into edit mode, okay, you'll notice it hasn't changed. That's because I have to redo the unwrap. So I'm going to hit U, and then I'll I'll reset it just to make sure everything's okay, and then I will unwrap it again, and voila. Now the sides, okay, are actually proportional to the main shape. So that if I go back here, let's add a new texture. So go back to this object, okay, go back to this object. We'll add a new texture, add a new uh, thing here, and uh, click the brick texture from there. Go back to UV editing, tab in, select all, select the image from here, 
And now I'll scale it up roughly the same size that I did to the other one. S to scale, G to grab. That's pretty good. And let's go back and put rendering mode on here. And you will see a massive difference in the sides of the objects between these two. OK? So there we go. And now you can see how this looks so much better because it, the brick texture is proportional in its size and its spacing and everything uh, to what's going on than this. Forgive the shininess of the object. There's no normals mapping or anything like that on it. OK? This also helps us greatly when you deal with an object that has holes cut out of it. Say, for instance, oh, I don't know, a wall with a window in it. Now, I'm going to show you how to UV unwrap this properly just as part of this little demo here. So we're going to do our little experiment. So if I mark my seams, I'm going to do all four corners. Then I'll do the uh, two sides, and a lot of times I'll do the top or the bottom. The bottom will almost always be against the ground. There we go. So I'm going to control E. I'm going to mark my seam. Now, <clears throat> I also have to do the same thing with the window so the flaps will move outward. Okay? So the, or this, the interior sides will, will flap outward. Okay? So again, I need to mark a seam here. Let's. Um, Turn those two off for a second. Mark a seam here, here, here. And then what I do, if, if you're not careful, so let's just, I'll, I'll do it wrong first. So and then I'll mark my seams all the way around. So if I do that, and let's go back into UV editing, and I'll unwrap. <clears throat> and you'll notice how this is all messed up. And what is happening is these flaps, or, or these parts here on the inside of the um, window, those are the pieces here. And it can't unwrap them uniformly because they're kind of overlapping each other. So here's how you do this to, to work it out right. You do two on one side and two on the other. So I'm going to take those two, control E, clear the seams. I'm going to flip over here, control E, mark the seam. So now what's happening is these two will fold out this way towards the other side. And then the top and the bottom will be cut here and fold out this way towards the back side of the object. So if I select all, UV unwrap, and boom. It's a little better, <coughs> kind of, sort of. But again, I have scaled it. I've scaled this thing up. And so it's non-uniform in its properties, and so it's really messing up my UV unwrap. So if I did everything correctly, which I think I did, I'm going to go out of uh, edit mode, control A, and I'm going to apply my rotation to my scale, because I think I rotated it as well, but I'm not sure. I forget. It shouldn't matter. Select all and unwrap. Oh, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Now it's tilted 45 degrees. I'm not quite sure why it's tilted 45 degrees, but that's easy enough to deal with. Just R to rotate, OK? And it's a lot more uniform. It's still not quite perfect, but it's pretty darn close. And now I can go in and I can move things around or whatever I want and add my textures, scale them up, whatever. And you're going to see that things will be a lot better. That doesn't mean that I still don't have to move a few things because um, I do, but it's going to be just so much better. It, it's a little crooked. So if I were to place my brick texture on here, what's going to happen is it's going to be like running uphill. So let's, let's do that. So I'll go back to default. Um, I like to add my textures in object mode. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but whatever. Um, so let's put our brick texture on here. OK. And uh, oops, go back into UV editing. OK. Um, tab in here and uh, select the brick texture again. There we go. So now that makes pretty good. Let's, we can scale it up if we want to. And then if I go over here and I turn this to uh, rendered mode um, and you look carefully, 
Yeah, you can see how it's kind of rolling uphill here. It's not perfectly parallel because of the way these are slightly twisted. So I would still have some work to do in taking this and making it parallel. I would grab this corner and I would bring it down and over and then that would, uh, that would probably help make these a lot um, straighter. Uh, and then I would do the same thing over here, maybe bring those in and down a little bit, and I would just straighten out the lines, and then it would work out a lot better. So I'll just select like that, right click, grab, bring them in like that. There we go. Select, grab, bring these over like that. There we go. Circle selector is a beautiful thing. Bring those down to the, I mean, you know, it's close enough, right? <coughs> Circle select. I probably didn't need to do that. I could have just selected that one individually. But there we go. And you can always already see that this made some pretty big improvements here. The, I would do the same thing with the window. So that's actually where the big thing is here. Um, grab this, bring it down, make that as square as possible. And then I would take these, grab this, and make go over and make that as square as possible. You can hold the shift key down if you're getting too, the increments are too big, it will slow down your mouse movements, which is really cool. So instead of moving really rapidly, it moves a lot slower. It's really nice. G to grab, bring it over like that. And you can see that it's making uh, uh, even more of a difference here. So that's basically how you do that. So the real trick in this is, is actually the control A. By the way, you have to do that in uh, the uh, object mode, not edit mode. And you apply your rotations and your scales. And then what will happen is your UV unwraps will actually be proportional to the size of the um, <coughs> object as you have it in your view, in your object mode, uh, in your scene as opposed to what the original object was. That's really what it is. And what's funny is, I don't know how many years I've been using Blender. I, I never, ever researched this. And uh, yeah, I'm really sorry that I, I didn't do it, because it's such a simple solution for, what, for such a big problem. And you can kind of see in here, if I zoom in, see how the bricks are kind of going up at an angle and stuff. So that's where you, know, you still need to do some work um, kind of making these things uh, perfect, bringing them, making them straight, and that sort of thing. But it certainly made my job so much easier. Let me say one last thing. If you've created a window with a Boolean and your vertices are not um, connected, so you can see here how I have the vertices are actually connected one to the other. If you just have a hole and each point does not actually go to another point and create an edge, this will not always work correctly then. Okay, and so if you unwrap it and you apply your scale and rotation and it still isn't looking like you expected it to, chances are it was your Boolean and you need to do some cleanup to that Boolean which was covered in that, that demo that I was, uh, showed you before with the, um, with the castle tower. Okay, you probably need to clean up your, your Boolean a lot and actually connect points with the F key for fill and once you get things into quads and that's what this is. You can see each shape here has four points. They're not perfectly rectangular or perfectly square, but each shape that's in this object has four points as an enclosed, and is enclosed. When you do that, then all of a sudden, this kind of operation goes so much better. Does this make sense to everybody? This is huge. It will help you so much. All right, let's get to work.